Now, you uh, may remember an investigation that we showed you last year into what's known as distraction burglary. We spent time with the specialist police teams on the trail of these cowardly thieves who typically target the elderly. Unfortunately, it's a problem that doesn't seem to be going away. And now six forces have come together to track down one particularly prolific gang thought to be responsible for over 30 offences. And D.I. Ben Wright from Hertfordshire Police is uh, leading the hunt. Evening, Ben. What more can you tell us? Hello, Kirsty. Yes, uh, this gang is responsible for 35 targeted distraction burglaries against the elderly and vulnerable. The offences um, that we've been able to confirm were committed between the 15th of September 2014 and the 24th of October 2014. We know that a variety of ruses have been used to gain entry into these vulnerable people's address, right from them claiming to be police officers, council officials and bogus maintenance men. And you've said vulnerable there, just to be clear, particularly they're targeting the elderly and particularly the elderly that live alone. Indeed, the targeted demographic is between 75 to 94 years of age in this series. Um, some of them were immobile and infirm um, and the majority of them lived alone. Well, we have spoken to a victim of the gang, 88-year-old Margaret. She answered the door to a man who claimed that he was from the water company. Once inside, he distracted her, whilst two other men came in and started rummaging through her bedroom and her lounge. I, I had every faith in him that he was genuine, and I felt I was conned. It shakes you up, and you're, you're lost for words then, what to do. We need to see somebody in the, in the bedroom. That's why I broke down. Yeah, the shock of it. Can't trust people now. I can't trust anybody now. It's terrible, isn't it? Well, we can uh, look at some potentially important CCTV. Now, it was taken from the home of another elderly lady. In the footage, you'll see that it appears that a man gains entry by claiming to be from the police. Okay. Police officers. Oh, do you? Okay. Hello. Uh, Hello, love. How are you? Alright, thanks. Um, we've come to visit you about, uh, obviously, we've had a previous break in before in the past. Oh, and yeah. to come in to just to talk about just obvious previous and things like that. And I've got this. What's them sensors? It's a camera. Oh, you've got cameras, have you? Yeah. Alright, that I've one, got yeah. The camera there. Alright, no worries. I'll get my booklets and I shall bring them up to you. I yeah. was on. And I'll come straight back up to you again, yes? Yes, she had a camera and it was a very clear picture too. You think you might even have the name of this man? Yes, indeed. Um, he's recently been identified as a male called Thomas Hallathin. He has multiple aliases. He also goes by the name Connor. Um, he's been originates from Western Ireland, but he also has links to West Midlands, Nottinghamshire, Hertfordshire and London. Uh, there's a car you're looking for too. Indeed. Um, linked to a great number of the offences in the series is this silver Audi A3 Sport model. It's distinctive in as far as it has a sunroof, which is rare for this particular model type. We're also keen to um, identify two occupants in the vehicle, which you will see here. Yes, there they are. Now, there'll be people watching tonight who do live alone and might be getting on a bit. What advice would you give to them? Indeed, our advice is simple. If you're unsure, don't answer the door. If you're not expecting one, please keep that door shut. Challenge people, ask for identification, and I would also urge people not to leave any large cash amounts in their properties. OK, all good advice, Ben. Thanks very much indeed for that. If you can help police with that gang's whereabouts, then please do call the usual number. It's 0500 600 600. Or, of course, you could speak anonymously to Crime Stoppers if you prefer. They're on 0800 555 111.